every man's heart one day beats its final beat. And if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others, then his essence, his spirit, will be immortalized forever. You're the one that I need. No one else is meant for me. Coming close to my heart.
Hello and welcome. Welcome to Clubhouse Dance Music. We are live from 90.7 FM WTCC. Big shout outs going out to everyone joining us right now on social media. And of course, 90.7 FM WTCC in the backgrounds. It's the number one song in freestyle right now. It's Blue Ivy and the last time extended mix by Jay Adams. Don't call it love. Don't call it. Freestyle premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. It's TKA, it's Cynthia, it's Judy Torres, it's the first family of freestyle.
this is what happens when you pick from the top shelf. It's top shelf freestyle right now. It's TKA. It's Cynthia featuring Judy Torres. And don't call it love. Brand new music written by Andy Panda. Produced by the legendary Tony Moran. And this is a James Anthony Razor Edit Club Mix. Right here on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. And yes, you heard it here first. Monday morning, the podcast was up quick. Right now, it's the future of freestyle. This is Taina. Happy now?
the promise we made I'll never let go of this love There's just no way It feels so good inside To know that you are mine I hope this makes you After all this time With that smile It still drives me wild Just stay forever FM, WTCC, and CPR with you. We are live from 90.7, and live with us right now is Mr. Willie Valentin. Willie, how are you? What's going on, Jose? Man, let me tell you, I'm over here quarantining myself. I was out of the station for one week, and I was going stir crazy, because, you know, I got to be here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now, That's uh, more of your home than your actual home, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I got a bed back there, a little Ikea pullout. You know how it goes. Uh, just like right. you've been uh, slaving in the studio, I see all the videos of you on social media debuting your song on there, uh, showing people the progress, which is great because that inspires people to wanting to get into the studio. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been a long time for me, what, three, a little more than three years since I released a song. Um, and you know the battles I speak to you all the time is that, you know, I don't want to release just anything. And I put a lot of work and effort and worked with some good people on this on the song and finally a proud product to put out, you know? Well, you, you did two versions. You got a hardcore street version, but you also teamed up with uh, a childhood friend, uh, Michael Anthony Berto, and uh, you did yep. a, a, a version that's dedicated to where you grew up. Yeah, yeah. So it's funny, you know, um, originally I was to have a different remix on there that didn't make it, you know, due to time constraints. But, and I said, you know, I did promise more mixes. So I just woke up on, was it, Saturday morning, about a week and a half ago, I'm like, you know, I'm going to work on something. Got a call from Michael Anthony. He's, hey, what are you up to? I'm like, I'm trying to remix the song. He's like, I'm on my way. So, you know, I started off and he came, hey, great idea. Try this, try this, try this. And we just collaborated and came up with the Chelsea Project mix and it came out awesome. And uh, now the song that we're going to play in a few minutes, Dedicate My Love, it also has a story um, and uh, would you like to uh, share that story about this song? Because yeah. I think it's the most personal song that you've ever written. Yeah, so it's funny. You know, I'm not one to usually write songs about personal experiences. Um, you know, I, I, some songs are you know, inspired by certain things, but um, I would say like the, the one I released prior to this one. Um, no One Like You. The title. No One Like You. That was written for my wife just to express how I feel, right? And, you know, it, it was well received. Everyone, everyone's using it now as a song they dedicate to their to their significant other. And this one was totally different. So this one, I reflected to when me and Cynthia first started, my wife, uh, we were dating. And um, back in 2001, um, we had a breakup right at the end of the year. And, um, it, it, it you know, I, went, it, I really suffered from that. I, I really... Um, was heartbroken, you know, and I did everything I can, could to, to win her back, and I did. And now we're married, what? We're about to celebrate our 17th wedding anniversary next weekend. 
Um, but yeah, it was like everything that I went through. And it's funny because when Mike was here, I had written the chorus already. And he's like, all right, so tell me what you want to write about. And I was giving him ideas, but I didn't tell him, oh, me and Cynthia, this is what happened between me and Cynthia. But I just gave him the direction of what, exactly what happened. And he wrote it perfectly, the verses, and we finished it up. And yeah, it's written um, all about a breakup and how we got back, you know, and then what I promised that I would do to, to hold on to her love. And, you know, the thing about you and I, we've been friends for a long time, so I remember these times, and I remember having these conversations with you, because I was like um, your counselor and you were my counselor. I think we still are each other's, uh, you know, counselors, you know, like where we uh, need advice or we need someone to talk to. And uh, listening to the song, it brings me back to the conversations that we had. And, man, you did a great job to win her back. Yeah, and I remember calling her mom and her dad, like saying, "Hey, what can I do <laughs> to get you know? I, I love your daughter, and I, I you know I can't live without her." And and you know Philip Anthony was my roommate at the time, and he saw how depressed I was at home. He's like, "What's going on?" And I would say, "You know the pain I have. I don't know how to get rid of it. It's like I feel like a rubber band around my heart. That's how I felt. It was like so tight, you know. So it was hard to think, to to work, to sleep, to just live. And you know." It, and I'm so glad that it worked out. and it, it took a lot of effort, and uh, I finally got it back, and we're still together. I'm so glad that you and the Princess of Style, Miss Cynthia Figueroa, are celebrating 17 years. I remember going to your 10th anniversary. Wow, seven years yeah. have passed since that. Yep. Yeah. Wow. And God willing, we're going to celebrate our 20th. We're going to renew our vows again. We did it on our 10th anniversary, and we, that's our plan. Every 10 years, we're going to renew our vows. Well, God willing, I'm going to be there as well because I love that cake that you had 10 years ago and seven yep. years ago. <laughs> same bakery. We, we use the same bakery in the Bronx uh, to do both cakes. So, Yeah, so, man. Think- and, and that, I have a video of you and your wife singing After All at that uh, 10th anniversary, and I cherish that video. I love that video. Oh, nice. Yeah, my daughter, my, my middle daughter, Chelsea, she, vid- she recorded it. She put it on, I think, YouTube. And so I share that sometimes. There's a little clip, and you see... My, my my little granddaughter in the video, both, uh, all three of my daughters there. It was awesome. My mom, you know, Cynthia's family was there. It was, it was awesome. It was great to have uh, that reunion and to renew our vows. Well, I'm proud of you that you're honestly uh, putting your heart out there, telling a story. Um, we need more stories like this, actual, factual stories. I know yeah. that we have a lot of people that do that, but there's nothing better than coming from the heart uh, and, and coming from an experience that changed your life because you could have lost her um, if you didn't gain her back, and it would have been a totally mm-hmm. different song. Yeah, yeah, and, and I remember that time vividly. It's weird, like you know, you you usually remember the good times, but I remember that time, and and you know, I don't remember how long it lasted. The breakup, I don't know, if it was a month. That I don't remember. Um, maybe two weeks, three weeks, but it, it felt like an eternity at that time. You know. The time would not go by fast enough. Like, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. and, and so to, to rewind to something that happened to me, you know, listening to the song, it reminded me of what I went through uh, a few years back where you were my shoulder that I cried on. You know what I mean? And I got to win her back, too. So it's a, it's a great story to tell. And uh, you just opened up your website where people can go ahead and order it, correct? Yeah, and actually, I'm glad you brought that up. So I did the website went live yesterday, so they can pre-order the CD and USB. Um, you know, uh, we have those two formats available, and then the digital download starts next Friday on iTunes and Google, all that good stuff, and Spotify streaming. All that stuff will be available next Friday. Um, but now that you have me on the phone, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce that as of tomorrow, you'll be able to. I wanted to bring it up a week earlier. Um, if you, if the fans want it now. Tomorrow they'll be able to download it directly from my site. Um, the entire single or, you know, one of the tracks, you know, the radio mix, whatever mix they want to download. Um, so I'm going to make it available exclusively through my site as of tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, to bring it up a little earlier just to, to celebrate, you know, to have something positive to talk about instead of all this stuff that's going on. I know it's reality what's going on in the world, but sometimes we need a, a getaway, you know. And I want the fans to you know, enjoy it and talk about it, listen to it, and at least have a little time away from all the craziness that's going on in the world right now. And there's a lot of great things that are happening this week as as far as freestyle is concerned. We have great releases. George Anthony uh, recently uh, released a song. 
Uh, we had the legends, yep. TKA, Cynthia, and Judy Torres. Uh, they also uh, released their song. And now the fact that you're doing it uh, today uh, and having it available at willyvalentine.com, it's going to be something that it's a treat for the audience. And yeah, man, there's no better escapism than music. And if you're a freestyle fan, you escape in every song. Uh, I'm sure that when you were growing up, you would escape in those Micmac records and you would escape oh, in yeah. those classic freestyle songs. And I'm so glad that you're doing it now for people, especially at this time. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, I haven't been really active, I would say, but the last maybe 10 months I have been. I've been doing a lot of remixes and I definitely have that that fire in me. I want to do this again. I want to go full, full out. You know, 25 years now of artistic. I want to release that compilation, which I don't really focus on compilations anymore, but I want to do it to celebrate 25 years of a great um, label and a great bunch of artists, vocalists. Um, they deserve all the credit for what artistic is, and I want to um, do that this year. Um, and, you know, I got the, all these remixes out for, like, Giggles and Charlie Rock and um, Jenny Aki, Renee. You did Jenny Renee. Jenny Renee. AP3. You know? yeah, yeah. There's tons. There's tons of Willie Valentine remixes, and they're all yep. quality. They're all great. Everyone's enjoying them. And I'm like, what is he going to do it for himself? I know. I have fans that he hit me up, like, constantly. Some fans are like my friends now. They're like, I know when you come out with something, it's going to be good. Take your time. I believe in you. And, uh, you know, those fans are the work really f helped me get through these few years of not being to re able to release something. Not because I couldn't, because I recorded like 20 songs, but it's like it had to be the right song, the right production, the right writing. And, I mean, I, you don't have enough time on your interview to go over how long it took to write the song. Cause I rejected so many songs or so many different writings from different people that helped me out. And not that I rejected because they were horrible. It just wasn't me, you know, and because the music was done first and then we started writing to it. So, um, but it was, a, it was a great ride and we're finally here. It's done. Ten mixes. Uh, you know, I got to give credit also to Pete D.O.S. who had a, a dance um, remix on there, a radio mix and an extended mix. Um, so I want to thank him for his contribution to the single as well. And Edwin Ramos for mixing it, of course. Absolutely. So now let's let's not uh, waste any time. Let's debut it right now. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. You introduce it, sir. FFM. All right. All right, guys. So finally, you're going to hear the whole song, not just a, a piece of it on my Facebook Live. This is Dedicate My Love by yours truly, Willie Valentine, on 90.7. FM WTCC. This is this is CPR Jose Ortiz, Ortiz. Mr. Exclusive, Mr. Exclusive Freestyle Premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. You can call me Mr. Exclusive, and right now it's the one, the only. The Clubhouse Dance Music Hall of Famer, it's Willie Valentine. And this one right here is a song dedicated to his wife, Cynthia Figueroa, the princess of style. This is Willie Valentine and Dedicate My Love. This is the extended mix right here exclusively on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR Clubhouse Podcast. This is, this is CPR Jose Ortiz. Mr. Exclusive. Mr. Exclusive. Freestyle premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. I still remember that face My 
part right there. Willie Valentine is with us right now live at 90.7. Willie? Oh my God. Want to hear something crazy, Jose? What? I'm enjoying you playing this mix, right? I'm having a great time. I'm very happy. I'm like, you know, uh, overwhelmed, right? And then all of a sudden, the, the UPS comes and delivers the USBs. I got them in my hand right now. Nice. It's awesome. It's a blessing. Like, great time right now. Great day. Um, perfect timing, right? <laughs> Absolutely. What we're going to do is we're going to put the link on this podcast. If you're listening right now, look at the information for the episode, and the link is right there. Just click on it, and it'll bring you right to WillieValentine.com. Get your copy of uh, the new single, Dedicate My Love, a song that uh, he produced for his wife, Cynthia Figueroa, as he tells a story on how he won her back like a superhero. You got a little cape, right? Artistic cape. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Well, I'm truly happy that you got everything in stock right now and that you're looking to do more with Artistic, the label. Um, We have to credit you for being the one to plant your root here in New England 
and plant your root right now worldwide because you you have like branches of different things that uh, have occurred in this music in a positive manner because of you helping people out. And so you, you deserve a lot of credit. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm truly proud of you. And, you know, I, I can't say positive things because, you know, you say positive things on social media or on a podcast. Oh, he's kissing his butt. But man, really, you, you need to you need to take a, a bow, you know, and 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 we need to applaud you because of all the work that you put into this music. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It, it's funny. These years just flew by. I remember my auditioning, me auditioning with Michael Anthony for for a manager who became our first manager, Willie Dones. Uh, what, what, no, look, fast forward. That's what thirty three years ago. So I was there when George Lamont wasn't George Lamont. He was Loose Touch. Um, you know, I was there before. You know, you know, writing songs and starting to produce. I didn't want to be a producer, and my manager goes, "You know what? You get, you're a better producer than you are a singer." And I was like, "Hey, hey, slow down." <laughs> but um, you know, it, it made me who I am today. Is everything that that I went through and what I've learned, you know, from a lot of people, and people are not going to believe. Like I didn't know how to set up a studio until you know at the time my manager's brother was Mark Anthony's road manager, and Mark Anthony was Anthony was always there at my manager's house, and he was like, "Oh, I'll show you how to hook up a studio." I'll show you how to do this. I show you how to do it. He was. He showed us how to harmonize, and I'm like, wow! I can't believe the people we've met who've helped along the way. Um, and look at this. 33 years later, I was able to help a lot of people also, and I continue to do that. And, and I still have people who help me all the time. Um, you know, I know we're celebrating my new song today, and thank you for that. And I appreciate it. Um, but there's a lot more coming out, man. We got the new. T I know TK just released a song with Cynthia, but. We got a new TKA coming out on Artistic with K7 on the leads. It's, it's amazing. Can't I wait. played a little bit of that the other day. Um, I can't wait. You know, this is going to be a, a great year for this, and I, I want some positivity for this year. You know, we want to think positive. There's a lot of crap going on that we, we wish wasn't happening, but, you know, let the music take us somewhere else. Absolutely, and uh, again, there's no be better therapy than music, especially freestyle music, because it gets you to think, uh, today, somebody has chosen this song right here, Dedicate My Love, as their favorite song, and it's going to be with them forever now. Once they get their copy, you know, it's going to be their song. That's my song right there, you know, and that's a good thing. Somebody's going to select your song to be their song. Yeah, you know, and then I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be able to release something new, along with all the great music that's coming out right now. I know, you know, George Anthony had his song come out on the 6th. I'm like, you know what, I'm not releasing it at the same time. I want George... I want people to embrace that song and to absorb it and let it be out there. You've got a great music video. The support on that song is great. And, you know, now, and not to, I'm not even trying to overshadow. I just want to join the party, you know. George Anthony, you got uh, Blue Ivy. Um, I, I'm going to forget because there's so many good records out right now. And, and, and no offense to anybody, um, just that George comes to mind, of course, because he's an old, old friend of mine as well. But, you know, you know, big ups and a lot of props to all the artists who are releasing stuff now. It's a good year. It's a lot of good stuff. The the uh, uh, first family of freestyle. Um, it's a lot of good records. I, I can't think of them. I'm so excited right now. I got my USBs. I'm sorry. I'm like a little kid. But um, <laughs> it's like I'm that. Join the party for me. For yeah. me, it's like when I got that freestyle parade volume two. Man, I I got I got had the headphones on. I had the imprint of the CD player in my face. Because I fell asleep listening to it over and over and over again. And I'm sure that this is the same thing with you. Uh, make sure you take a picture because I want to see what they look like. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to get my copy. I'm going to order one of each. And so I want to make sure that I have, you know, a, a copy of the USB and a copy of the CD. And I'll get the digital too, you know. That's how much of a, a fan I've become of yours. Um, I know this is, <laughs> this is artistic country. But it's because, again, Pose, Marisol, Stephanie Marie... Uh, Adelise, all these people that, um, because of you, have a freestyle career, and they owe you a debt of gratitude. And so, you know, again, we got to celebrate your new music. I can't wait to get my copies, and I can't wait to play it over and over again, as I've been doing with the uh, versions that you've sent me. I know that this is the same thing, but for me, buying it is, is the fun part. Like, wow, my friend did this, and this is mine, and I get to play it over and over again. Definitely, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to everyone. We got a lot of orders for it already. So, 
you know, they're going to get it early. This is finally the first time I released something that I'm not late. <laughs> which is great. <laughs> well, Willie Valentine, thank you so much. Any words for your wife? Um, you know, thank you for being my inspiration. That's, that's all I have. <laughs> I love you guys, man. I really do. And I know if you would have been here, people would see you get all teary-eyed on, on, on camera. I'm glad that you're home right now. And we're doing this uh, social distancing, you know? You're far away in Connecticut. I'll be giving you a hug right now. But uh, my brother, I love you. And send my love to your wife. Thank you. Once again, that's Willie Valentine. This is his brand new song. Available right now, WillieValentine.com. This is Willie Valentine and Delicate by Love. The story on how he won the love, the heart of his wife, Cynthia Figueroa. We spent together Trying to pick up what we lost back then We'll figure it out somehow This second time around I don't want to lose you again Now that we had the chance What can I do to keep holding you Never let you go, I dedicate this life CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. Clubhouse Dance Music. Dance Music. Dance Music. Dance Music. Clubhouse Dance Music. It's Thursdays at 6 p.m. and Fridays at 8 and 10 p.m. on 90.7 FM, WTCC and WTCC HG Springfield.
Hello and welcome. Welcome to CPR's Top 10 Countdown, the only countdown in the entire freestyle universe that matters. And number 10 is the future freestyle mix is Angelica Joni and Counting Stars. And right now, we continue on with CPR's Top 10 Countdown. Clubhouse Dance Music Top 10. Countdown, 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 countdown. Top 10 Countdown. Number 9. Thank you. 
20 and man it just keeps getting better and better and better and better wiggle chitty one it's the king the king of freestyle it's stevie b and this is take it all back number seven on cpr's top 10 countdown number seven remember way back time when the world was so tight and how damn I miss it, how damn I miss it We were young, we were wild and free, all I wanted was to move our feet And how damn I miss it, how damn I miss it Look around and everybody was skipping down No one on the wall standing up in the crowd We put our problems upon the shelves and enjoyed ourselves I know it helps if we take it all back
countdown. That was King and Stevie B. And take it all back from his album. Available right now on your digital distribution sites. And right now, here's number six. It's Jay Mazur. And this is Born to Love. And CPR Stop Tip Countdown. The only countdown in the entire freestyle universe that matters. Yeah, take a look in my eyes Tell me what it is you see Can you picture the love that I have inside And I hope for you and me Oh, I had a feeling From the first time you looked at me And maybe we could be forever Staying together till the end, baby, you and me Top 10 countdown right now. It's the boys. You know, Michael Astorga, Jose Rodriguez. It's pure pleasure. And this is black and white. Number five. Just can't hold you Tears on my face When I away I'm burning for you I just can't fight I try to hide it There's no way out Obsession drives me insane I always love you Keep thinking of you I know it's bad but I'll be here Yeah. 
Sharp 10 Countdown. That was Adelise and the way that you love me. Number four on CPR's Top 10 Countdown. And right now, it's number three. Moving down for number one, it's Blue Ivy. And last time, which means we have someone brand new at number one. I thought it must be something new.
CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. The legends are back. It's the first family of freestyle. It's TKA. It's Cynthia. It's Judy Torres. Don't call it love. Brand new music right here. CPR's Clubhouse. Crazy Puerto Rican. CPR Jose Ortiz is in the building. He's in the building. Jamming freestyle in New England. And now, the world.
CPR Jose Ortiz, Mr. Exclusive, Mr. Exclusive, Freestyle Premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. Right now we take it to Chelsea, New York City. It's the latest from Willie Valentine and dedicate my love. Check out the links on the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast to get your copy of the latest from Willie Valentine. And yes, you can call me Mr. Exclusive. This is, this is CPR Jose Ortiz. Mr. Exclusive. Mr. Exclusive. Freestyle premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. your lips I still remember it like it was just yesterday it's been a long time since I've seen that smile I still remember that face my mind just can't erase your love remains and now Chelsea Projects Remix 
by Willie Valentin and Michael Anthony Berto. Who will be number one? Let's find out together. Are you ready? And now, now, the most requested song on Clubhouse Dance Music. Number one. Number one. Without a doubt, the number one song in freestyle right now is G.A. George Anthony. If I can love you, I want to make you mine and take it all the way. If I can love you, I want to make you mine and take it all the way. Baby, I really think you're playing hard to get. Make it a night you won't forget. Cause it's true and I know that you want it. Uh-huh. When you find that love you're looking for, girl, won't you tell me if I can love you? I wanna make you mine and take it all the way. If I can love you, I wanna make you mine and take it all the way. You are the one that gives me all that energy. Huh. Anthony all the way and right now it's the number one song for 2019 it's Jenny Benet and she's all hooked up big shout out going out to everyone who joined me on social media and don't forget you can catch the CPR's Clubhouse podcast available on iTunes podcast app also available on Stitcher available on TuneIn Radio on Demand Heart Radio app and also available on Spotify. Get your links at cprsmusic.com. Jose Ortiz is in the building. He's in the building. Jamming freestyle in New England. 
at me we'll talk to you soon as we sign off from clubhouse dance music and the cpr's clubhouse podcast was it me